Hello friends, this is Music Man from his man cave and today we talk about gaming. Sega, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and don't forget the Wii. Coming right at you. Wow, has this gotten out of control? I'm serious, right here on YouTube, you can go to some channels, and there's some guys that, like, they don't have a life. You know what I'm saying? All they do is they play video games, day and night. I can't keep up with them, and, and they watch every movie that's come out. How do you do that? I can't do that. I don't have the time. I have things I have to get done. You know, I have to get up in the morning and and do this for you and then I have other things that I have to do uh, it's called work for a living and so these guys I mean they're really sad I mean they literally uh, video games is their God and um, you'll also, also notice that these guys are never married uh, they're like 30 years old and they're reviewing video games and rarely are they married they might have a couple of pets but that's about it uh, because their whole life is invested in video games in fact, I know people that literally, they chose video games over their spouse. Are you shocked? I say it again. They chose video games over their spouse. It's like, what are you doing down there? Um, I'm, I'm almost done, honey. Well, it's been four days. Are you going to come upstairs? Just one more level. I mean, there's games out there that they're the games that never end. They go on and on, my friend. I didn't know what it was, and I started playing up because it's a game that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. 200 levels. And they these, these guys sit in the basement, and they do nothing but game, game, and game. And they play games and watch movies and watch movies and watch movies. They must have carbuncles on their butts. I mean, how can you sit that long? How can you just do nothing but game? Oh, it's a waste of life, if you ask me. Now... I don't mind games that are kind of like almost movies, you know what I mean, or, or they're really easy so you can play through them, and um, I mean, I'm a, I, like you're looking at stupid with money, and so there are some out there that are uh, pretty good, I mean, I, I picked up this one, uh, and I like this one because it's such got such an easy level that even stupid people like me can play it, <laughs> you know, and then there's these other games, I waited this was like fifty nine ninety nine forever, and I finally found it at a pawn shop for ten bucks, and I grabbed it immediately. Now that's another thing. I always wait till the trend goes past. I learned this a few years ago. And when they are finally sold, the games or the gaming systems are sold at a huge depreciated price. That's when I get them. When they're about fifty to seventy five bucks, that's when I uh, I step in and get a PS three or whatever. So I'll get a PS four. Uh, when it when the PS5 is coming out, uh, and that's just how I like to do things, or that's how I roll, baby. Uh, because uh, otherwise, it's just a waste of money. I would. Is this worth fifty nine ninety nine? Well, I played some of it, and the graphics are stunning, absolutely stunning. And this is an amazing game. And uh, you guys that are looking at this right now are going, "You ain't kidding, man! That game is really unbelievably good." And it is. I'm not going to deny it. Uh, but uh, the problem is, is it worth fifty nine ninety nine? Probably. Someone put a lot of love and, and hard work into that game. But um, if you want to save money and uh, keep your spouse, you might want to play some game, get some games, uh, and wait and uh, find out some things about the game and and be able to move through the game a little more quickly so that you're not in your basement twenty four seven. And so that's my motto with games, gaming, the gaming industry. Um, uh, otherwise, there's some pretty pathetic sacks out there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that they're just pathetic. They just live in the basement, smoking dope and playing video games. And then they get on get on the YouTube and they're telling everybody about the latest game and if, if it's any good or not. Why would you listen to this guy? I mean, who is this guy? I mean, this guy is like pathetic. I mean, he, he obviously has no life. And so if you're, you're emu emulating his uh, lifestyle, you're a sad sack. 
I mean, I'm just saying, you are. You need to get out, get off the couch, go do something, get some fresh air, go do some things. Uh, don't just sit around and and uh, play video games all the time and let everybody else, uh, everybody else around you, wonder where you are. I mean, uh, uh, get out and uh, uh, contribute to society or something. Oh, I am by playing video games and telling everybody. No, you're not. It's pathetic. It's a game for losers. Um, and so anyway, um, I, I think that the, the bottom line is, is I don't mind gaming, but there's moderation to these things. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be able to do some other things. You gotta be able to take a vacation. There's people that are never going on a vacation because they have to game. Every time they have a free moment, they're gaming. Whoa, sad. <sighs> it makes me depressed thinking about it. So, gaming. Uh, buy it cheap. Buy them when they're after the newness is worn off. If it's a good game, it'll still be a good game. A year later, I had to wait a year finally to get this game. I was told how good it was. I had to wait an entire year to get this game. And uh, is it worth it? Yeah, you bet. It's good. Music Man saying, get off the couch and go get some air, man. See ya.